Hi, this video is brought to you by TechDirectArchive.com. In this video, I'll be showing you how to enable VTPM and BitLocker on Microsoft Server 2016 on Hyper-V. So I'm going to open the server now, the VM I created. First, let us um, confirm if um, we have this locker enabled. Let's see. Can you see we cannot open BitLocker? It's not enabled. So we need to enable it. Let's go and enable it. Let's go into the manage address. Is under officials. So BitLocker, this is it here. So let's add it. So once um, we had this feature, we need to, I will need to re, um, restart the server. So we are going to come back. So we've um, I've added the feature now and I've restarted the server. So let's confirm if the BitLock has been added now. Yes, you can see it open now. So let's try to turn on the bit locker now. Let's turn it on. Can you see this um, message here it's saying this device can't use a trusted platform module? Your administrator must say they allow bit locker without a compatible TPM option in the required additional authentication and startup policy for OS volumes. So what this uh, means is that um, is either we enable the uh, trust, <coughs> sorry, excuse me, trusted platform module, or we um, use the policy for OS volume. So, but um, in this instance, I'm going to enable the TPM on the um, Hyper-V. So this is how we're going to do it. Um, let me go into our Hyper-V manager. Let me cancel this first. Let me close this. So let me try, let me turn it off. I go into settings. So you will see security secure boot enabled here. Click on it. Then you see enable trusted platform module. So this is where we are, go we are going to enable it. So let's enable it now. Apply and OK. So once that is done, then let us um, confirm it on the VM itself. Let's start the VM. So let's confirm from our device manager if um, the TPM have actually been um, enabled or added. So um, device, now we access it through here. Let's go through control panel. So, 
devices it's like i'm going through a wrong place okay this is it here device manager so um once inside the device manager you need to check for security services we can have it we can see it here now previously it was not there now we have it trusted platform module 2.0 it's been added now so if you go back to the bitlocker now it will open because we've added this now we've added this so le let us um, try it once again with Let's try to turn it on now. Wow, still saying. Okay, sorry. I know why this is showing. Let me remove the bootable media. Let me go into. I'm going to remove the bootable media. Into settings. So I'm putting it in none. So this is why that uh, information was popping up. So let me try once more. Yeah. So our bit locker is starting now. So you can either save to file or print the recovery key. So either of these two, uh, in order for you to uh, back up your recovery key, this is very very important. Do not save your key, your recovery key, on the same system save it on another location so if we are going to print now let me just give it recovery key so I'm saving it now so i've already i've saved it now so let me just again please do not save your recovery key on on the same system try and find another location the save location so let me move i'm moving to next now so um we are i'm selecting the first option there next so we can now start encrypting so the encryption have started already of our c drive where we have all the the files for our virtual machine so can you see is encrypting it now so after encryption there is no way somebody can just copy the files and go into another uh, hyper-v manager to go and make use of it this will encrypt it just because uh, we make use of uh, the tpm and also the bit locker so just have to wait bravely for it to be encrypted and that is all you are safe so i hope you enjoyed this video and thank you for watching